The SKN Newsline newscast is brought to you by Smart Electronics, the way to live a smart life, and Taranga Restaurant for the finest in Indian cuisine. Excellent Indian cuisine, fine dining. It's Taranga Restaurant at the Royals and Kids Plaza in Frigate Bay. Taranga offers the authentic flavors of Indian cuisine in a warmly adorned 150 seat restaurant. Named after the tricolor flag of India, Tiranga comprises of traditional and regional inspired Indian cuisine. The restaurant offers a sophisticated fine dining experience with a charming staff, discreet service and tantalizing food that few can compete with. Call 662-5846 or visit tirangasentkits.com. Tiranga Restaurant, a, a, a taste, taste of authentic, authentic India. India. Smart and Island Electronics brings to you the Super Summer Coulomb Sale from July 21st until October 30th. Get, get amazing discounts on the widest range of gadgets, electronics and appliances. But because it's summer, you get double discounts on whole fans, refrigerators and air conditioners. And don't forget to ask about our easy layaway plans. Good news for the people of Nevis. Smart Electronics is coming to Nevis at a convenient location just opposite Best Buy. So visit our stores at Smart Electronics on Port Zonde and Island Electronics on Ford Street. Terms and conditions apply. Our COVID-19 protocols will be observed. When visiting St. Martin, you want clean, affordable accommodations. You need Midtown Motel in the heart of Phillipsburg, a place where you can relax, take a stroll on Great Bay Beach, and that provides you easy access to great shopping. Midtown Motel, located on Front Street, Phillipsburg, St. Martin. Call Midtown Motel at 721-542-0614 and book your stay today. The SKN Newsline website now offers you more news. Log on to www.sknnewsline.com for local, regional, and international news. You can also watch the latest newscast and keep abreast with news in sports. All from sknnewsline.com. That's www.sknnewsline.com. News at your fingertips. Nestled between evergreen mountains and the Caribbean Sea on the island of St. Kitts is the Millhouse Guest House and Convention Center. With breathtaking views, a rugged, beautiful shoreline, and immaculate manicured gardens make this the perfect location for your holiday, event, or wedding. With a large convention center, apartments with balconies providing stunning views, and a secluded cottage for larger family groups or honeymooning couples looking for some privacy. We have something for everyone. Book your stay at www.millhouseskn.com or visit our Facebook page, the Millhouse Guest House and Convention Center, an oasis of tranquility. Speaking with representatives of the St. Kitts and Nevis News Media, leader of the OAS Electoral Observer Commission, Bruce Golden, a former Prime Minister of Jamaica, said they will be making strong recommendations for electoral changes for the Federation. Not being the first time OAS observers have monitored general elections in the Federation, Golden said some matters might require parliamentary approval, but noted electoral changes must involve the citizens and take place well before the next elections. St. Kitts and Nevis is plagued by very late vote counts in some constituencies, often ending the counting process nearly 24 hours after the close of polls. Very little attention is paid to it, and it therefore languishes. And it is when the next elections come around that we say, hey, you know, but we, we didn't pay attention to this. And you go through the problem all over again. We're going to urge that the government, whichever government is elected, attend to the issues of electoral reform and to do it early. 
um, to have the necessary discussion, consultation, not only among the political parties, but with the society, with the public, um, have them properly informed so that we can have all the improvements in place. And it's something that we're going to be um, recommending very strong. Golden said team members of the mission were present in all 11 constituencies in the Federation and visited all polling stations, observing the processes from the start to the close of polls. Glenn Bart reporting for SK Newsline. The Eastern Caribbean Central Bank and political leaders on St. Kitts and Nevis congratulated newly elected Prime Minister Dr. Terence Drew in the wake of Friday's general election. Former Prime Minister and leader of the People's Labour Party Dr. Timothy Harris congratulated the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party on their victory at the polls, in which they captured six of the eight seats on St. Kitts. Dr. Harris said in particular, I congratulate Prime Minister-elect Dr. Terence Drew of the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party and extend best wishes to him on his new journey of leadership of our beloved Federation. I congratulate as well all the other successful candidates in the general elections and wish them the very best. Leader of the People's Action Movement, Sean Richards, congratulated Dr. Drew and the Labour Party on assuming leadership of the country. The people have spoken, Mr. Richards said. He continued, we encourage you to work tirelessly with the privilege of service that you have been given to prove yourself equal to fulfilling their expectations for progress and prosperity, even as you advance our nation, regionally and internationally. The Nevis Reformation Party conveyed congratulations to the new Prime Minister in a press release issued Monday. The NRP said it wishes Prime Minister Drew and his SKNLP the very best as they govern the affairs of our Twin Island Federation. They also extended congratulations to the Concerned Citizens Movement, CCM, on their victory at the polls on Friday and said it trusts that the CCM will begin to represent the people of Nevis as they were elected to do. The outcome of this election is not what we wanted, but the people eligible to vote, especially those from overseas, have spoken. We find solace in knowing that our God is in the midst, the NRP said. Premier Brantley congratulated Prime Minister Drew and his St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party for winning a majority of seats in the election. May we now focus on healing and nation-building, the Premier said. Brantley's CCM won all three federal seats on Nevis for the second consecutive election. Meanwhile, the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, ECCB, also conveyed congratulations to the Prime Minister. The ECCB looks forward to welcoming the new council member for St. Christopher and Nevis and working closely with the government of St. Christopher and Nevis to transform our region, a press release from the ECCB said. This is SKN Newsline. The SKN Newsline newscast is brought to you by Smart Electronics, the way to live a smart life, and Taranga Restaurant for the finest in Indian cuisine. Excellent Indian cuisine. Fine dining. It's Taranga Restaurant at the Royal St. Kitts Plaza in Frigate Bay. Taranga offers the authentic flavors of Indian cuisine in a warmly adorned 150-seat restaurant. Named after the tricolor flag of India, Taranga comprises of traditional and regional-inspired Indian cuisine. The restaurant offers a sophisticated fine dining experience with a charming staff, discreet service, and tantalizing food that few can compete with. Call 662-5846 or visit tarangasentkits.com. Taranga Restaurant, a, a taste, taste of authentic India. Smart and Island Electronics brings to you the Super Summer Coulomb Sale from July 21st until October 30th. Get, get amazing discounts on the widest range of gadgets, electronics and appliances. But because it's summer, you get double discounts on whole fans, refrigerators and air conditioners. And don't forget to ask about our easy layaway plans. Good news for the people of Nevis. Smart Electronics is coming to Nevis at a convenient location just opposite Best Buy. So visit our stores at Smooth Electronics on Port Zonte and Island Electronics on Port Street. Terms and conditions apply. Our COVID-19 protocols will be observed. When visiting St. Martin, you want clean, affordable accommodations. 
you need Midtown Motel in the heart of Phillipsburg, a place where you can relax, take a stroll on Great Bay Beach, and that provides you easy access to great shopping. Midtown Motel, located on Front Street, Phillipsburg, St. Martin. Call Midtown Motel at 721-542-0614 and book your stay today. The SKN Newsline website now offers you more news. Log on to www.sknnewsline.com for local, regional, and international news. You can also watch the latest newscast and keep abreast with news in sports. All from sknnewsline.com. That's www.sknnewsline.com. News at your fingertips. Nestled between Evergreen Mountains and the Caribbean Sea on the island of St. Kitts is the Millhouse Guest House and Convention Center, with breathtaking views, a rugged, beautiful shoreline, and immaculate manicured gardens make this the perfect location for your holiday, event, or wedding. With a large convention center, apartments with balconies providing stunning views, and a secluded cottage for larger family groups or honeymooning couples looking for some privacy, we have something for everyone. Book your stay at www.millhouseskn.com or visit our Facebook page, the Millhouse Guest House and Convention Center, an oasis of tranquility. Dr. Terence Michael Drew is St. Kitts and Nevis' new Prime Minister. The leader of the St. Kitts and Nevis Labour Party was sworn in as the Federation's fourth Prime Minister on Saturday evening at a brief swearing-in ceremony at Government House in the presence of his party colleagues who were also elected to the National Assembly, members of his family and other well-wishers. Dr. Drew took the oath of allegiance, the oath of the office and the oath of secrecy as administered by Justice Trevor Ward in the presence of Governor-General Sir Tapley Seaton. I, Dr. Terence Michael Drew, I, Dr. Terence Michael Drew, do swear, do swear, that I will honor, that I will honor, uphold and preserve, uphold and preserve the Constitution of St. Christopher and Nevis, the Constitution of St. Christopher and Nevis, and the law, and the law, that I will conscientiously, that I will conscientiously impartially, impartially, and to the best of my ability, and to the best of my ability, discharge my duties, discharge my duties, as Prime Minister of the Federation of St. Christopher and Nevis, as Prime Minister of the Federation of St. Christopher and Nevis, and do right to all manner of people, and do right to all manner of people, without fear or fear, without fear or fear, affection or ill will, affection or ill will, so help me God, so help me God. In his remarks, Dr. Drew said he looks forward in serving the people of St. Kitts and Nevis over the next five years. Our citizen to extend a hand much closer to our federation sister, or to our sister island, Nevis, so that whatever issues there are, that we can solve and resolve to bring our federation ever closer together. I look forward over the next five years to serving the people of St. Kitts and Nevis with distinction, with respect, on the principles of good governance, transparency, and integrity, so that our nation can be counted among those that are of the best. It is expected that the entire cabinet will be sworn in in the coming days. The St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party won six seats in the 11-seat National Assembly after Friday's snap general election. The new Prime Minister also declared Monday, August 8th, a national holiday in celebration of the Labour Party's victory. Andre Huey, SKN Newsline. The St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party won six of the 11 seats in the National Assembly, retaking the reins of power after seven years in opposition. The Labour Party won handsomely in the six seats they won and performed creditably in the seats they lost, St. Christopher 5 and 7. The results see Dr. Geoffrey Hanley winning the seat for the Labour Party in constituency number 1 with 2,709 votes, Shani Gray Brooks of the People's Action Movement 745 votes and Jacqueline Bryant of the People's Labour Party 737 votes. St. Christopher No. 2 was won by Marsha Henderson of the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party with 1,841 votes, compared to the People's Action Movement's Janelle Powell's 737 votes, 
and the People's Labour Party candidate, Nubian Grail, with 707 votes. In constituency number three, Conris Maynard won it for the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party with 1,747 votes, the People's Action Movement, Kerwin Freeman, got 300 votes, and the People's Labour Party, Akila Byron, was the incumbent, had 720 votes. In St. Christopher number four, Samuel Duggins of the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party won the seat with 1,261 votes, compared to the People's Action Movement's Lindsey Grant, who was the incumbent with 761 votes, and the People's Labour Party, Kendall Lybert, with 293 votes. In St. Christopher number five, which was won by the People's Action Movement, Sean Richards, he gained 1,025 votes, to the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party's Kenny Douglas, 825 votes, and the People's Labour Party candidate, Stasha Williams, with 243 votes. In St. Christopher No. 6, Dr. Denzel Douglas, who has been representing the constituency for 33 years, took the seat with 1,926 votes over the People's Action Movement's Troy Flanders, 98 votes, and the People's Labour Party's Dr. Mark Williams, with 309 votes. The St. Christopher No. 7 seat was won by Dr. Timothy Harris, leader of the People's Labour Party, 1,266 votes, Leon Nata Nelson, 903 votes, and the People's Action Movement candidate, Lincoln David Pell, with 176 votes. And for St. Christopher No. 8, leader of the St. Kitts Labour Party, Dr. Terence Drew, winning the seat handsomely with 2,950 votes, compared to the People's Action Movement, Chesley Hamilton, 895 votes, and the People's Labour Party's Andrew Bass with 761 votes. In total, the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party gained 14,170 votes to the People's Action Movement's 4,737 votes and the People's Labour Party 5,036 votes. On Nevis, Premier Mark Brantley, leader of the Concerned Citizens Movement, won Nevis 9 with 1,685 votes to the Nevis Reformation Party's Dr. Patricia Bartlett, 1,279 votes and Samuel Keynes of the Moral Restoration Movement with 45 votes. In Nevis 10, Eric Evelyn took the seat with 616 votes over the NRP's Ron Isles with 229 votes. And in Nevis 11, Alexis Jeffers took the seat with 1,172 votes over the leader of the NRP, Dr. Janice Daniel Hodge, 1,113 votes. More Restoration Movement candidate Patricia Mills Jeffers picking up 22 votes in that constituency. In total, the Concerned Citizens Movement gained 3,473 votes, the NRP 2,621 votes, and the MRM 67 votes. Outgoing Prime Minister Dr. Timothy Harris congratulated Dr. Drew on being elected and becoming the Federation's next Prime Minister. Nevis Premier Mark Brantley on social media congratulated Dr. Drew on his election win. Premier Brantley's Concerned Citizens Movement maintained all three seats at one on Nevis but it proved unable for them to form the government as intended with the People's Action Movement that only won one seat. This is the first time Dr. Drew has won his seat in Constituency 8, having lost on two previous occasions. His huge victory in number 8 is a testament of the swing away from the parties that formed Team Unity in 2015, and that was evident as the election results came rolling in throughout election night into Saturday morning. The election results will be further analyzed in the coming days. Andre Huey, SKN Newsline. 10-year-old Zerish Bennett of Buckley's Housing Development is a young, promising artist. On Sunday, August 7th, she hosted her first ever summer art exhibition at her home, where her paintings were on display for sale. SKN Newsline caught up with her and her mother, Stevanna Bennett, at the exhibition, who explained how all this came to be. Hi, this is Zerish, my daughter. She's 10 years old. She attends the Dr. William Connor Primary School. And over the summer, she has decided to do some art pieces, which took us by surprise um, with all these art pieces to the back of us. She's always like makeup and colors. And yes, yeah, she used to draw, but we didn't know it was this good. So um, we have seen an explosion in her talent over the summer. I saw she had, um, she asked me to buy a, a, a sketch pad, a big one, and I realized all the pages was going, so I said, well, you could do an art exhibition. And then she went to, what was the school prize giving ceremony, and she came third. So I told her she could buy some things at Harper's. So she decided to buy some canvases for $100. So I said, okay, we're gonna do this art exhibition. Zarish, though a little shy, told SK Newsline what inspired her to do art. Oh, my 
mother and my father because they inspire me so much because they do a lot of work and I wanted I wanted to make them proud of me and that's why tiring very very tiring um, and hard me and how my mother and my father could do this so yeah. Zarishi's parents plan to nurture her talent and possibly do another art exhibition in the future. Persons wanting to purchase her art can do so by calling her mother at 667-7381. Andre Huey, SKN Newsline. When visiting St. Martin, you want clean, affordable accommodations. You need Midtown Motel in the heart of Phillipsburg, a place where you can relax, take a stroll on Great Bay Beach, and that provides you easy access to great shopping. Midtown Motel, located on Front Street, Phillipsburg, St. Martin. Call Midtown Motel at 721-542-0614 and book your stay today. The SKN Newsline website now offers you more news. Log on to www.sknnewsline.com for local, regional, and international news. You can also watch the latest newscast and keep abreast with news in sports. All from sknnewsline.com. That's www.sknnewsline.com. News at your fingertips. Online radio has never been this great. It's Voice of the Caribbean Radio at voiceofthecaribbean.net. Tune into Voice of the Caribbean Radio for great Caribbean programs, news, entertainment, sports, and current affairs. Wake up each morning and be inspired with One Day at a Time with Kim Huey. Stay abreast with news across the Caribbean and internationally with the Caribbean News Hour and be entertained with shows like Reggaeville, Caribbean Classics, and Jive Music Show. Visit our website, download our Android mobile app, or listen us on TuneIn Radio. There is so much more on Voice of the Caribbean Radio, reaching the Caribbean and beyond. Check website or app for program schedule. Are you ready to create high-performing TV commercials? Ready. 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 Create and tell compelling stories. Reach your target audience. And build brand awareness. Our strategies and execution will provide for your desired outcome and clearly represent your brand. Visit us at www.madebyopen.com and get started on your creative video commercial today. Lights, camera, open interactive. Auto Plus Car Wash, located on the Collins Street Gut, Bastyr St. Kitts. Bring your car to Auto Plus Car Wash to remove water stains, wiper marks, get your doors, roof panel cleaned, seat floor mats, buffing, headlights, and engine wash. You get quality service at the best price at Auto Plus Car Wash. They really care for your car. Call 765-5140 or visit them on the Collins Street Gut, Bastyr St. Kitts. Auto Plus Car Wash, where the service is number one. Can you believe all the eggs you can fit under one roof? We're here to help your small business any way we can. 